Hi, my name is Maureen Perry, and today you are with me on Let's Chat About Fat. And today our special guest is the Abijah Perry. Um, thank you so much, Abijah, for being with us. Thank you for having me here. I'm so happy to be here. So um, today I'm just really going to hype you up. I am just so impressed with your music. You're a, you're a singer. You're an artist. You are a dancer, an actress. Oh, wow. You just do it all, huh? Yeah, but more singing and dancing than acting. Well, I act a lot at home, so. <laughs> yes. <laughs> this is also <awesome>, my daughter. <laughs> you can tell, right? Because, like, yeah, you look we so kind of got alike. that look going on. Yeah. So you just had a birthday, right? I did. I did. Would you like to share with us how old you turned? 20. 20, not 21, but 20. Well, it's coming. It's coming. It's yeah, next year, because I just had my birthday, so. Yeah, you did. <laughs> <laughs> so how long have you been singing? Singing, I've been singing since as long as I can remember, four years old all the way up till now. It's just been something that I've been very passionate about. It's more of a gift that I'm very grateful for and honored to have. Yeah, and I just, I'm always blessed to know that I can do this and that I'm capable of doing it. Yeah, do you do you um, have a chance to share that gift a lot with um, other people or are you just starting or how's that working for you? Well, in the, um, in the beginning stages when I realized that I wanted to become an actual singer, I just kept playing my guitar, writing music and from there on out, I didn't really showcase it. Mm -hmm. I mean, I sung in choirs and I did a few solos in high school, mm -hmm. going to college. But now it's just like, I want to do more. So that's why I'm writing more of my songs and I'm mastering them and then putting them out in the world because I feel like I am capable of doing this and I want people to hear this and I want people to listen to what I can do. and. It's something that's really fun and I just love doing it. And so I give myself more opportunities. If I feel like I don't have any, I make them myself, which is also great for me. Okay, give me an example of making that opportunity yourself. Oh, okay, something that recently did, as you helped with, um, our music videos that we did. Mm -hmm. For So Blue, I didn't, I, I'm not gonna say we had the professional setup or anything like that, we didn't have any of those fancy cameras or help from big crew members and everything, but I had my sisters, I had my dad, I had you, and I still have you guys, and we worked together to make wonderful things, and um, we made a music video, and that was So Blue that is out, it's been out for a while now, and I'm very proud of that, and yeah, it's more, it's like a baby to me. Yeah, I everything can about it. Yeah. So blue, you'll be performing that for us tonight, right? I will. I will. You will. What's the um so how did you how did you come up with that song? What was the inspiration for it? Mm, so it was in high school when I got the idea because okay, so reversing back, it started in middle school when I had a crush on a guy. <laughs> it was a, it was a crush on a guy and I was just like, "Oh my gosh, I love him so much, but he doesn't know, but I can't confess my feelings for him and something like that." So I wrote it in my diary. Adults call it journal now, but it will always be a diary for me about everything and I just, I loved it so much, and I never really opened it until my sophomore year. And then that's when I was really emotional. I'm like, oh, boys, they're tiring me and everything, but I still love them. <laughs> and so I started writing out the lyrics for it, and that's where it actually started. And then when I actually finished the song, it became more of like a, a comfort song, I guess you would say. Mm -hmm. That was something I'd play when I'm happy, when I'm sad, or just when I'm playing bored. I, 
I love I just love the song so much. I guess you can call it like a little peek inside of my life or a little scope inside of my heart about how I feel about relationships and socializing with the people that I like. Okay, that, I, I guess most music would be like a peek into a person's, um, their heart and their soul. It's like a, a piece of who they are. Would you agree or? Yes, and also when I write music, it can be, it's about, it's about other things that I want to happen or I want life to be like in the future. Mm -hmm. So I write all these love songs, but it's not like I've experienced that type of love. I've only seen it in the world, but that's something that I want as well. And So Blue, yeah, I've experienced it, but that's just it. We, I don't write songs about things that I always experience. Okay. And that's the fun of writing music. It doesn't have to be about experiences all the time. No, it doesn't. You're, you're right. You're absolutely right about that. I know when we did the video, you had this gigantic smile on your face and you just had so much fun with it. And yeah, that was a, that was a fun project. Yeah, and, and when, when we did the video, there was a big smile on it. But really behind that song, it was sad but I just wanted to bring more life into it and it's just saying that even if those things happen that I'm still gonna be happy about it. And I'm not saying like, oh my gosh, it was like a big deal, like drama, everyone, eyes on me, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I just felt like in that moment, it was a big deal to me. But now it's just like a little speck of dust that you can't even notice, you don't even see and it's just gone. So, gone. but I'm just I'm just proud of that song and I'm proud of the video. Should be, so. and I'm sure it's yeah. an encouragement for other people too. So you're going to be singing another um, song for us. I, I think that's the newest one. Um, what was the name of that one? Is Love Overnight. Love Overnight. Is that a similar why for that one, or is it a um, little different? Or uh, so as you know, because you are my mother, I watched a lot of romance. <laughs> rom-coms, movies, read a lot of... I'm sorry, it was my fault. <laughs> <laughs> romantic books. My first, my favorite, my favorite movie that I watched, my first romance movie was what? Um, Tuck Everlasting. Mm -hmm. And, but the, the things that I love about them, the movies that I watch, certain things like that, it was, um, they meet each other's eyes and it's like first glimpse and it's like, oh my gosh, I fell in love with this person and now I don't know what to do. And it's just the magic behind that and something that I wish that would happen to me, finding um, first love experience, something like that, even though it doesn't happen and that's okay, but yeah. So um, in three words, what would you describe, what, what, how would you describe your music in, in three adjectives? What would you describe your music as? Hmm, for three words, I guess you would say, um, emotional, uh -huh. um, honest, uh -huh. and, um, timeless, I guess you would say. Well, you know what? I would agree with you, and we are about to get a sampling of that shortly, huh? Absolutely. You ready? Of course, yeah. Are you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> so we'll be right back. We're going to be getting a sample of this um, beautiful music, this extraordinary artist music when we come back. Thank you so much. Times 
And maybe if the sun was really smiling, oh then I won't feel so blue. amazing 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 we just heard so blue by abijah perry i'm just totally um i'm, I'm blown away i am thank blown you away. thank you can you do me a big favor though what? can you just do one of those runs for me just one more time one more time come on okay okay um, so blue oh i love it love it love it thank you <laughs> oh gosh i'm happy i got through it it's a lot of sweating going on, so. Oh, that's okay. That's I'll good. Survive. A lot of I'll energy. Survive. A lot Thank of you. energy. <laughs> so, um, so I want to take this in another direction now. As as an artist, um, female, what is your biggest challenge trying to get out into the industry? Um, I guess, as an artist, female artist, it would be not fitting in with the mold or the beauty standards of a mm. musician of anyone really in the entertainment industry because no matter where you go there's always going to be a trend okay. and there's always going to be something that people like more than others um so as an artist or as myself i would like to say i just want to do things and be things that make me me and happy because if you're in this industry in general you're not supposed to be in a box or like everyone else you're doing this to stand out because you're an individual you're not going to be like the girl next to you you're not going to be like the guy next to you you're not going to be like the people in the front or behind you you're just going to be you so it's not a competition everyone has their place and position of it's not everyone are, we're yeah. all into it okay, I don't, I I don't do this to compete I do it because I love it and when people are soaring when 
everything is going great for them, I congratulate them because okay. I can see that they worked hard to get where they're at because it's not easy. This industry is not easy at all. Like long hours, sleepless nights, and it's going back and forth trying to make their, sure everything is set up the right way, trying to do things the right way, and yeah, really. It, it, it is a challenge um, just trying to stand up, just trying not to um, get sucked into this big uh, melting pot. Yeah. I've always been against a melting pot. I don't want to blend in. I want my oh, yeah. own individual identity but, to stand out. Yeah. We could all be part of the suit, but that doesn't mean I have to disappear as an individual. Yeah, but also sometimes yeah. people try to stand out so much to the point where they lose a piece of themselves. Yeah, true. And that's something that I've even been struggling at for as as an artist and those type of situations because you're like, okay, how far am I going to take it to the point where I don't recognize me, I don't recognize who Abijah Perry is anymore. Right. And that's something that I got to look out for. People always have to look out for. Yeah, that that's absolutely true. So, um I know you kind of touched on this a little bit before, but what is your big why? Why do you want to sing? Why do you want to go out there? And I, I, I guess, um, like you said, it takes a lot of work. It takes a lot of dedication, discipline. Why? You know, what are you trying to achieve? Yeah, of course. Um, you know, I was really thinking about this, especially since I've asked this question a lot mm -hmm. over the past two years. Why? Do I want to do this? Um, and I always thought it was the same thing from when I was younger. To be famous, to be known by many people. But now that I'm doing it, it's not about that. <laughs> because I, I feel like once I reach a certain point or I'm just striving for that, then that's all I'll be worrying about. And I'm doing this because it's a part of me and it's what makes me me and if I try to hide it then I don't know what I would do and for singing I always see people out there doing it and they make people laugh they make people cry and I'm just I just think like I want to do the same thing I want to bring emotions out with my music I want people to express who they are and as an individual of mm -hmm. course so that's why I decided to move forward my career and very become good. a musician. Very good, very good. Yeah. Speaking of making people laugh, you are a ham. <laughs> hey, Alma. Yes, you are. Okay, I'm old. We, we say that. <laughs> no, I'm. St what's a ham? A ham is a person that Hum. makes people laugh. They don't pick at me. Ham. They, they make people laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Only my daughter. Um, they make people laugh. You 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 bring um, laughter into the house a lot. That's a quality that um, I really appreciate about you. Yeah, that's that's one thing with being me. I'm pretty dramatic and I do things over the top, as you've witnessed in you, my <laughs> 20 years of existence. Yes, yes. So, yeah, if, when people meet me, they either like me or they love me. <laughs> yes, that's good. And that's that. <laughs> so. Well, you look out because Abijah Perry's here. You look yeah, out she is. <laughs> you, you, you know she's there, which which is not a bad thing whatsoever. So outside of music, what else do you like doing? What do I like doing? What do I love doing? Mm -hmm. I love sleeping, yes. hiking, going for walks. No. <laughs> Most of the time, for my downtime, I I'm usually doing music. I'm writing. Songs. I play with my cat. Yeah, you Coda, love your cat. Yep, you the love your silliest cat. cat in the entire world. I, because it's so cold now, there's nothing really that you can do. Like for instance, I, I love ice skating. I can go ice skating if I wanted to. I haven't been, but now that you gave me the idea, I might go. <laughs> do it. <laughs> yeah. Um, I love hanging out with my friends because we have such busy schedules. We usually don't get the time to hang out. So when there's a window open. I chill with my girls. So you need that downtime to be a vibe. Oh, yeah. And you also, I know you like, um, you were in Krav Maga for a little bit. You've done wrestling. Yes. You've yes. done um, all kinds of things. Yeah, because I feel 
like me, I tend to get bored of doing the same thing. Mm -hmm. So I always have to be doing something else. I'm always interested. I'm like, oh my gosh, what's this? What's that? I can name 20 different things that I've done and it just, it, I can't even wrap my head around it that people don't even know about. It's just crazy. Yeah. yeah. So um, I, one, one thing um, when, when you sing, I, I, I always can see your passion, but you also put that passion in other things. You're, you're really a lover of people. You, you, you're a protector of people. I noticed that about you. And animals and life. Yeah, I, I just can't stand when someone's crying, even if they're a stranger. I, I always have to be there and always ask like, are you okay? Because I don't see that a lot. When I was struggling, when I was sad, people would just drive by. And it's just, I don't want to be that type of person. No, we don't want to be that type of person. Um, you know what? I think it is time for that second song. You ready? I have to be. Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you do have to be ready. So we are about to be delighted and treated with another song called Love Overnight by Abijah Perry. Take it away, sweetie. Someone told me I would fall in love overnight. And I said that they were crazy, but then didn't know they'd be right So I'm sitting here at the table Staring in your eyes I fell in love with you overnight Words and tender whispers Always stopping me in my tracks And I think of all these peaceful memories Baby, the way you always had my back And I know Something that I couldn't get out of my mind. I fell in love with you that night. I fell. Thank you so much. That was just awesome, awesome, awesome. Once again, you just blew me away. Love Overnight, amazing. So we are coming to an end right now. Can you just take a few seconds and just give our viewers some words of wisdom? What do you wanna leave them with? What's the last impression you wanna leave them with? Be honest, be happy, or be sad. Whatever you do, do it to the 100 percent or be 100 all the time and that's all I can say to you keep going keep striving keep living and so forth thank you so much thank you I really appreciate that I want to thank everyone for being here with us tonight on let's chat about that I am Maureen and I hope to see you again <laughs> thank you Bye. <laughs>